What is good YouTube? Slaughter Online is going to be signing in to bring you an improved version of Top 5 Feature and Top 5 Action Adventure video games. The feedback on the first Top 5 was great so I decided to do another one in better quality. Remember this is opinionated so if you guys have a different Top 5 let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, let's get this started. Slashing his way into the number 5 spot is going to have to be Zelda Twilight Princess. This game, I did not personally play it. But this game, I watched a full let's play of it and I've enjoyed the action I've watched through this whole let's play and the adventure they always packed. Zelda games ever since Ocarina of Time which was for a long time number one game made in history until GTA 4 came out was full of adventure and Zelda and Nintendo obviously know what they're doing when it comes to adventure in Zelda games because they continuously put out good content Zelda games especially Wind Waker HD that came out. Um, Link, of, Link of the Past, all these games, Hourglass, all these games, and this game is no exception to the adventure that the store and Nintendo has been giving out. So with that, this is going to be my number 5 spot, Zelda Twilight Princess. Taking down the number 4 spot has to be Far Cry 3. I have personally played this game and enjoyed every single second of it. This game is full of action, all types of action, and you didn't know there's more one type of action? Well, you know now, because there's all types of action in this game. Basically, I'm going to do a quick rundown. You're basically stuck on an island, your friends get to help captive, and you have to go free them. But you, you know, you're not really used to being stranded on an island. You're pretty much were kind of like a rich kid, you know. And through the island and through people that help you throughout this game, you be cool, you, be, you acquire like savage-like tactics and stuff. I don't want to spoil too much for you guys who want to play this game. If you have not played a good action game in a long time, I definitely suggest you play Far Cry 3, man. It is definitely, definitely worthy of taking this spot down number 4. Pushing its way into the number 3 spot has to be Bioshock Infinite. I've gotten this game, I played through it fully myself, and I do not regret one second of playing this game. This game was pretty action packed and was, the adventure was pretty nice. You know, you want to get down to the bottom of why they're accusing you of being such a horrible man when you didn't know what you did at all. You just woke up in some weird place, you had this number attached, like tattooed on you, you didn't know, but now everybody's against you, so basically you're trying to get to the bottom of this thing. This game was full of action, it was pretty difficult at times, but isn't that what, you know, action is? Action is pretty difficult, it's not a, if it was easy, it wouldn't be considered action, would it? So with that, that's what makes Bioshock Infinite number 3 on this countdown. Raiding her way into the number 2 spot has to be Tomb Raider 2013. This game right here... It's actually full of action. You fight monster samurais, guys who are trying to kill you off the island, weird demon monster things. I don't know what to call them. But anyway, this game is full of action. It basically tells the story of how the Tomb Raider you know today, who is, you know, the savage she is currently, how she began and how she became the person she was today. And this game basically goes through the story of how she became. See, as you can see, all this action just in the cutscene. She's got impaled. This game was full of action, guys. If you like action, if you love action, you will definitely play this game. Don it's nominated for Game of the Year. The year it came out, which was last year, 2013. Definitely try this game out. You would not regret it, not one bit. Raging his way to the number one spot has to be Osiris from Osiris Wrath. He is the embodiment of action and action adventure games, in my opinion, because his rage makes him do stuff that you would never expect. He's mad throughout the whole game, hence why it's called Osiris Wrath. But this man, he's always doing something that you never expect, ever. He's just like, always, he brings you always on your toes. You're, you're playing through him, so you have to be on your toes constantly. And this is a pretty much well, well put together action game. That's that adventure, but it's really, really, really underrated in the community. I mean, if you really want to play a good action adventure game, I play this myself. I played through the whole game. I bought the DLC just for this game because I enjoyed it that much. Guys. If you want to play a good action adventure game, definitely play this one. So if you guys enjoyed, please let me know. This took a long time, now we're going to lie to you guys. It took a long time to put together, but I just want to show you guys what my top 5 action adventure video games were. And plus the feedback from the last time inspired me to keep doing this. So if you enjoy the top fives, please let me know. I, I honestly actually really want to know. So with that guys, Slaughter is going to be signing out. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.